Hey guys, Mr. Elephant here. Still got the colorful shirts on because we're still in the Roaring Twenties. Everything's going great. Uh, so let's talk about our two presidents. Remember, you have to write a presidential paper. In this series, we're going to discuss two. One, I think, is a pretty good guy. The other, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Now, we're going to talk about Warren Harding. Harding is our 29th president. And, you know, Harding is unfortunately, <laughs> he kind of falls into that in between what they call the, the two great Roosevelts. You know, you got Theodore Roosevelt, and then you got FDR, and Harding and Coolidge kind of guys that fall in between them and, and Wilson and all that kind of stuff. Now, first of all, guys, the 19th Amendment's been passed. Women have the right to vote. Women will be the reason that Harding gets elected. I really hope you can look at my PowerPoint and see a picture of Warren Harding. Because uh, he was considered just the really handsome guy of his day. Uh, I don't see it, but I guess I'm not a woman back in the uh, 20th century either. But anyway, women have the right to vote. And guys, that's very important. Women fought very hard to get the right to vote. Once women obtain the right to vote, they're going to be very much out there voting, campaigning. So Harding is 55 years old. He's a Republican. His little deal was to return to normalcy. He made up this word. Now, the interesting thing I always tell my students, guys, when we study about guys like Bill Clinton and different presidents, JFK, that obviously had uh, uh, all kind of scandals while they were in office, uh, this guy... It's going to be one of the first, okay? And I always tell people it was probably women that got him in, women that got him in trouble, and maybe a woman that got him in the grave. So while he's in office, he doesn't do a whole lot, but he is kind of a, during his Harding was a kind of a cigar smoking guy. And he even had him a little, uh, this is during Prohibition. He had him a little uh, liquor cabinet there at the White House where he was drinking liquor. Oh. So everything was really going really, you know, they had a kind of party central there. Uh, he was very popular with women. Uh, now, he was one of the first presidents to actually take uh, questions from a press conference, which is kind of interesting. He is also the president. Remember old William Taft, the big guy, that he will be the president that will elect William Taft to the Supreme Court. <clears throat> I don't think if Harding did anything else, at least he's done that. He's kind of, I think he's kind of, that's kind of cool of him. Uh, so let's kind of talk about what gets him in trouble. Now, Harding, guys, there was all these rumors coming up. And there was a girl named Nan Britton. And I'm trying to find her, make sure, yeah, Nan Britton. Now, Nan Britton is going to have a daughter. And Nan Britton's this young girl. She's 18, 19 years old. Her story was that the father of this child, was Warren Harding, and that she would go to the White House, they'd go into his office, they'd go into the broom closet, they would do what adults do, and she ended up getting pregnant. Uh, which I've always tell my students, whenever we see a scandal, <clears throat> we think, oh, I can't believe that. You know, that's never happened before. You look far enough in history, guys, it has happened before. Warren Harding was the guy. Now, Warren Harding, before we end this, I have to tell you, he kind of, you know, he dies on a very strange note. Uh, Warren Harding is going to Alaska. Alaska's just been made a state. He's on this train trip to going to Alaska, and he gets ill. He's president of the United States. He gets ill. They check him into a hotel. Well, he, he his health begins to deteriorate for the next couple of days, and he dies. Now, his wife, it is very interesting, his wife, uh, who obviously she had been reading all the papers about all the affairs and all the stuff, his wife, after he is dead, tells them there's not a reason to do an autopsy. I think that's kind of odd. Back then, the wife could make that call. So Warren Harding is deceased. No autopsy. Uh... Who knows? We're going to come back with his predecessor, one I think y'all are going to like.